This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash butterscotch. Sean Crowley from Butterscotch.com here at CS 2011, and we're here to talk about one of my favorite things, and that's robots. I'm here with Craig, who has a new robot from iRobot, which is our favorite company in the robotics field. So, Craig, what do we have right here? All right, we're here to introduce today a brand new member of the uh, iRobot uh, uh, floor cleaning uh, lineup. This is the Scuba 230. Now, in 2005, we introduced the first Scuba, mm -hmm. and uh, we had great uh, feedback from that. And what we learned uh, in the market here was that People love the way that one cleaned, but they really wish they had something that could get into those tight, hard to reach areas, like maybe next to your toilet, some of these smaller areas, right? Yeah, because so, the original scuba was about this big around. It's almost twice as big, exactly. Yeah. And so we set to work, we, we challenged our engineers to say, hey, how can we get in you know, those tight, tight to reach areas like next to your toilet? And so that's exactly what they did. They've managed to shrink it down about half the size. And uh, there's some really great things about this. It shares a lot of the same DNA as the original scuba, right. but there's some interesting new things. First of all, you notice the size. It is smaller, yes, definitely. A lot smaller. So how did we do that? This is something that can still clean up to 150 square feet. Mm -hmm. Certainly smaller rooms than the original, but, but this features our water management system, which has this active reservoir design, this technology in it. What it does is, it's a flexible reservoir of clean water. Mm -hmm. As it puts clean water down, it shrinks in size, which frees up room for the dirty water then to, to, to backfill on it. So it's like one balloon is shrinking and the other one is expanding type of thing? That's exactly right, yeah. So it's a very efficient use of space. So it allows us to get to this small form factor. All right, so I noticed one other thing about this is the original scuba had a dock on it that you could actually pull in at the end of the day and recharge on. This one it looks like it doesn't have that, right? It doesn't have an auto dock, and really it's about the intended usage. To use this thing first, you just put this under the faucet, fill it up with some clean water, right? When it runs its cycle, so it puts clean solution down, it scrubs with these brushes, right. and then it has this squeegee vacuum that picks up all the dirty water. Okay. Once it gets um, put back inside the robot, to empty it out, you just open up this empty, empty um, uh, bin and, and, and clean it out. Oh, right? you can see the, uh, the little uh, the reservoir, reservoir edge yeah, in there, right? too. And, and so because of that, because there, at least there's that, those steps of you've got to fill it and empty it, we felt it wasn't quite appropriate to have a self-docking. Right. Um, but we do make it very easy to charge. It's, it's a kind of a cell phone-like charger, small wall wart. And uh, it just plugs into a little you know, barrel connector right here, very simply used, gives you some uh, flexibility. Right. So when is this going to be available and how much will it cost us? Yeah, this, we're really excited about this. This is going to come out this spring and it's going to uh, retail for $299. Great. Oh, thank you so much. So get a scuba, one of the new ones, and it'll actually fit behind the toilet now and keep your entire room clean rather than just parts that it can fit into. Yep. Thanks so much, Greg. Thank you. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash butterscotch.